Welcome to this video on the escalating tensions in the West Philippine Sea. Over the past few years, tensions have been high between China and the Philippines, with both nations claiming sovereignty over the waters of the West Philippine Sea. In recent months, the situation has escalated, with Chinese fishing vessels and Coast Guard vessels engaging in confrontations with their Philippine and U.S. counterparts. The United States has urged China to desist from its provocative and unsafe conduct, following a near collision in the West Philippine Sea between its Coast Guard ship and a patrol vessel of the Philippines. The Philippines accused the Chinese Coast Guard CCG, of aggressive tactics when one of its ships cut off the BRP Malapasqua, putting the Filipino crew in danger. The United States continues to track and monitor these interactions closely, the State Department said in a statement released on Saturday, yesterday in Manila. Washington expressed its support to the Philippines and reiterated its obligations to its ally under the U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty. The United States stands with the Philippines in the face of the People's Republic of China Coast Guard's continued infringement upon freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. The United States stands with our Philippine allies in upholding the rules-based international maritime order and reaffirms that an armed attack in the Pacific, which includes the South China Sea, on Philippine armed forces, public vessels, or aircraft, including those of the Coast Guard, would invoke U.S. mutual defense commitments under Article IV of the 1951 U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty. Australia expressed concern over the unprofessional and dangerous conduct against the Philippines in its EEZ. The U.S. is prepared to assist the Philippines as China interferes with Manila's efforts to resupply a grounded naval ship in the South China Sea, said Admiral Samuel Paparo, commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, vowing to curb Beijing's maritime provocations. China has frequently interfered with those resupplies, and these acts are clearly unlawful," Paparo told Nikkei in an online interview Friday, referring to the China Coast Guard's aggressive maneuvers around the BRP Sierra Madre in Ayunjin Shoal. Filipino troops are stationed on a rusting warship, BRP Sierra Madre, at Ayunjin Shoal to serve as a Philippine military outpost and assert the country's territorial claims in the West Philippine Sea. Daza emphasized that the Philippines has the legal right to carry out routine maritime patrols in its territorial waters and exclusive economic zone EEZ. The deployment of the BRP Malabrigo and BRP Malapascua in the West Philippine Sea from April 18 to 24 was one such mission. The China Coast Guard's interference with this routine patrol mission was totally inconsistent with freedom of navigation, and a number of documented incidents also involved highly dangerous maneuvers that were contrary to standard navigational practices. The Batangas 6th District Congressman warned that failure on the part of the Philippine government to stand its ground will only encourage Beijing's aggressive behavior. Recto emphasized the need to continue diplomatic protests and patrols in the West Philippine Sea to deter Chinese encroachments. Even if we have to wallpaper the Great Wall with diplomatic protests, we should continue because once we show any sign of wavering, it normalizes China's misbehavior inside our territory," Recto said. We also owe it to our neighbors, who are the subject of Chinese incursions, to make noise," he added. The House leader made the remarks as the DFA reportedly plans to file more diplomatic protests against Beijing following its recent harassment of two Coast Guard patrol boats near Ayunjin Shoal. The Philippines filed a diplomatic protest with the Chinese embassy in Manila after a Chinese Coast Guard vessel aimed a laser at a Philippine Coast Guard vessel, reportedly temporarily blinding some of its crew members. The Philippines intentionally grounded a ship on the reef to enforce its maritime claim in the area and now regularly delivers food and supplies to military personnel stationed aboard the grounded ship. 
The Philippine Coast Guard alleges that the Chinese ship first tried to block the Philippine ship from reaching the shoal to deliver food and supplies to its personnel before shining a military-grade green laser beam at the crew. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin alleged that the incident was an intrusion without permission by the Philippine Coast Guard and that the Chinese vessel's actions were professional and taken with restraint. Wang challenged the truthfulness of the allegations and claimed that the Chinese ship merely used handheld laser speed detector and handheld green light pointer to measure the distance and speed of the Philippine vessel and signal directions to ensure navigation safety. The West Philippine Sea, also known as the South China Sea, is a region that is home to valuable fishing grounds and potential oil and gas reserves. It's also a region that's been the subject of territorial disputes between China and its neighbors, including the Philippines. The permanent court of arbitration in The Hague ruled that China's claims to the majority of the South China Sea were invalid, but China has continued to assert its claims to the region. In recent years, tensions have been high between China and the Philippines, with both countries engaging in military exercises and building up their naval capabilities in the region. These vessels have been accused of engaging in illegal fishing and damaging coral reefs, and have sometimes been escorted out of the area by Philippine Coast Guard vessels. In April 2021, the situation escalated when hundreds of Chinese fishing vessels were spotted near the Whitsun Reef, which is within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. The Philippine government demanded that the vessels leave the area and deployed Coast Guard vessels to monitor the situation. The United States also got involved, sending its own Coast Guard vessels to the area to support the Philippines and to assert its own presence in the region. China responded by sending its own Coast Guard vessels, creating a tense standoff in the waters around the Whitsun Reef. The situation in the West Philippine Sea remains tense, with China and its neighbors continuing to assert their claims to the region. The presence of Chinese fishing vessels and Coast Guard vessels in waters claimed by the Philippines has led to confrontations and heightened tensions, and the involvement of the United States has added an extra layer of complexity to the situation. It remains to be seen how this situation will play out in the coming months and years, but one thing is clear. The West Philippine Sea will remain a hotspot for geopolitical tensions for the foreseeable future. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other important global issues.